Question 14. Which of the following correctly expresses x as the subject of y equals ax minus b over 2? We want to make x the subject of the formula y equals ax minus b over 2. By convention, the subject of the formula should be on the left-hand side of the equal sign. So I'm going to rewrite this formula with the side switched around. Another thing to note is that we're dealing with a formula that contains a fraction where the numerator consists of two terms, that is ax minus b. In order to ensure that order of operations is followed correctly, it's good practice to place brackets around the numerator in this case. So I'm going to rewrite the formula as ax minus b in brackets all over 2 equals y. So to cancel out this division by 2, I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2. So we have ax minus b, and note that the brackets are no longer required, is equal to 2y. Next, I'm going to add b to both sides of the equation. So we have ax is equal to 2y plus b. And finally, I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by a, which means dividing the entire right-hand side by a. So we end up with x equals 2y plus b all over a. Therefore, the answer is option A.